Hello, I'm Andre Pillow, player development professional at Blyfield Country Club and founder of DNA Golf Instruction. To win multiple majors on the PGA Tour, you have to be an excellent iron player. And Brooks Kepka is certainly one of the best. If we take a look at his address position, we see a nice athletic build with a lot of structural integrity to the lower half of that setup. Even as the club starts away from address, we see very little movement in the lower half. Maintaining the width between our knees, and even as the club works up to the top, we still see a lot of width between the knees, and Brooks does an excellent job of maintaining his back knee flex. This puts him in a great loaded position and only thinks about dropping that lever system into the ball, using his natural ability to get through it, not being very mechanical, especially under pressure, but still getting a very accurate result. One drill we can do to emulate what we see with Brooks is to take your normal setup and stance, move your back foot in line with the ball, move your lead foot behind you, either on the ball of its feet or on the tippy toes, and either take practice swings from this position or hit golf shots. What you'll find is this forces you to have a stable lower half and to use your lever system in a different way. You'll also learn how important it is to maintain the flex in that back knee. Once you develop the feel for the stability, grab a cardboard box. It doesn't have to be high, doesn't have to be too big, shoe box works as well. Even a noodle, a pool noodle would work. But we need something between our legs as a reference to remind us that we don't want to collapse our lead leg too far. Okay, so we're going to leave the box there. We're going to think about maintaining the flex in our back knee throughout the entire shot and see if we can maintain width and look like Brooks Kepka.